I'm often asked, what is a short sell? I'm on my way out to show some houses and one of the houses is a short sell. A short sell is a house that the owner owes more on the property than the property is worth and they don't have the money to bring in the difference. And so what they do is they go back and they ask the bank if they will take less than what is owed to clear the title for the house so that they can sell it to somebody else and so it doesn't go into foreclosure. Let's go look at this house. Here we have an example of a short sell. This home is brand new, barely been lived in. Now, in order for a seller to qualify for a short sale with their bank, there's only five reasons that they can give to the bank for the bank to uh, justify allowing a short sale or granting a short sale. Those are death, divorce, loss of job or major loss of income, medical issues, and sometimes even a job transfer. So to just say, oh, you know, we've, we've fallen on hard times and couldn't pay the bills, is an excuse. You actually have to have a hardship or a real reason to be able to make an application for a short sale with a bank. Once that is established, you would write a hardship letter to the bank. The bank can review that and then they're going to want supporting documentations. So just like when someone goes and makes an application for a loan, the same process happens for the seller on a short sale. So as a buyer, if you're looking to purchase a home that is on a short sell, the process can be extensive. It can take anywhere from three, six, even longer months to get a short sale approved. A home that has been pre-approved for a short sale is where the agent has actually gone in, done all of the paperwork up front, gotten the approval for the home, and now has put it on the market or has been marketing it ever since. Questions you might ask when looking at a short sell would be, does the seller qualify? What is their hardship? How far behind are they? Or how, what is the difference between what they owe and what the cost of the home is? When putting in an offer on a home that's a short sell, you're not only asking the sellers to sell their home to you, but you're also asking the bank. And then once the home is approved on a short sell, they're actually going to approve you also. So even though you're getting a loan from the bank for yourself, the bank itself is going to approve you as a buyer. The power is off in this home and as you can see, it's a beautiful home. Not much is wrong with it. Generally when you're looking at short sales, the condition of the home isn't always great. So, you want to keep in mind that when asking for repairs or you know to make the home in better condition for you and your family to move in the financial situation of the seller is probably that they're not going to put another dime into this home this is going to be your obligation so in summary short sales can be a lot of work but the advantage to them is a buyer can get a great house for a great price and the seller can get out of a situation where they have been struggling. And I hope that that's helpful. Um, feel free to comment below and good luck on your short sale adventures.